Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video here. I've seen a lot of uh, people making um, panning devices for doing time-lapse video with egg timers. And so I've seen a lot of them on the internet, you know, a lot of them around YouTube. And they usually use this IKEA, um, one that's nice and cylindrical. But I don't have an IKEA around here, but I do have a Walmart. Three bucks at Walmart, guys. Can't beat it. We're going to make this into a time-lapse panning device. So Things you're going to need. Phillips head screwdriver or whatever screwdriver fits the bolts you use. You're going to need your egg timer. You're going to need a utility knife. You're going to need a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. And you may need a smaller one as well just so that you can ream out the plastic if you need to make any small adjustments. You're also going to need a quarter inch bolt. This one's half an inch long. Uh, make sure it's quarter by 20. That refers to the, the diameter and the number of threads. So that will make sure that it will fit into the tripod adapter if you plan to use one. You also need a hacksaw. First thing you want to do, turn it around. On the back side here, you're going to see one single little screw. That's all that's holding that, or the, all that's holding the device into the housing. I'm just going to pull that out. Save that screw, you may need it for later. Pop it out. There you go. Just give it a little wiggle, comes right off. I'm going to take our quarter inch drill bit here, I'm going to go straight down through one side. So now that we've got that hole drilled, if you look here, we can't quite get the screw in there because this thing's in the way. This little mounting bracket for the center pin on the actual panning device. So what I've done is taken a box knife, utility blade, be very careful, of course. Push it through there, push it through there, there we go. And you can see I've removed this little piece of bracket that was on the other side. Alright, so now we've got our plate with a hole in it. We've trimmed off a little bit on the side to be able to fit our quarter by 20 screw inside. As you can see, that fits nice and flush. And when it sits down, it's going to face pretty much straight up. Again, we'll use our box knife here. Never cut towards your fingers. My fingers are on the outside of this. It's relatively thick. A Dremel tool might be a little, would in fact definitely be a little easier. But once you've got that out of there, we can just pop that out. There we go. And we can trim these pieces. To be a little more manageable. And of course, it'll look a little prettier. There we go. Nice flat bracket. Now we're going to drill the hole that we're going to put the tripod nut on. I'm just going to put it right next there so it's pretty much in the center. Alright. With our hole drilled, we're going to glue this nut right on the bottom, and this is on the bottom side of the bracket. I'm going to glue it right there with a little sticker bit. I'm going to put it right on top of the nut here. Don't get the glue inside the threads or your bolt's not going to sit on there right. It won't thread right. Alright, it's been 30 seconds on there. And just for a little reinforcement, I'm going to add just a little bit around the edges here as well. While that's drying, I noticed that this bracket has two little nibs on each side, and one nib fits onto each side of this. Well, we cut off one of the little brackets that the nibs fit into on this side, so I made sure that my screw, um, this one has a flat head that goes all the way across, so I made sure that my screw will accommodate just so the other nib will fit into the 
flathead part of the screw. As you can see, just right. So now that we've got this together, let's go ahead and take our uh, housing and the plastic bracket we've made. There's three little nibs here and there are three holes here. Line up your flat ones together. Now it sits in there nice and neat. Drop that screw on top. Now it's mounted on there solid. Um, we will also be gluing this uh, screw into place. You can use hot glue, you can use steel stick, JB Weld, super glue, whatever you want. Doesn't really matter. It's not going to bear much weight. But now that we have that all together, this is going to go on top just like that. And there you have it. All right, now that we've got all that together, we can take our tripod mount, whatever kind. I used this aluminum bracket I got off uh, Amazon. It's got one inch strap holes for you to strap it to something, anything really. Um, you've got holes to rivet it or screw it into something if you want a more permanent solution. It also has a tripod screw here in the center. So we will screw this on. Now, this is the quick release bracket from my tripod, which will screw right into the bottom of our nut here. And there we have it. Now this whole unit, you know, if you don't have a quick release plate, you know, it'd already be on your tripod. Maybe you don't even use a tripod. If you don't use a tripod, you don't need to do that whole bolt and everything in there. All you really need to do is this top section and put it back together. You can set it on a, you know, a solid surface and you're good to go.